going to use the sandwich method to create an art bat on this, the baby brother drum carter from Brother Drum Carters. Okay, so how we do the sandwich method is we have our main fiber, which is this blended Shetland. And here I'm going to do probably four small sandwiches. So I have divided this up, of course, in the number of bats that I want. Put those aside. So you can either start with a thick layer of roving and then draft it out once you've finished the sandwich, or you can kind of draft it out to be sort of a, a sub-sandwich size. And for this demo, I am sub-sandwiching. Okay, so I am going to set aside a little bit of this lavender and a little bit of this Shetland, about probably about this much, to make the first layer on the drum. And that will help these art bat pieces remove really easily. Okay, so now we're going to think of this as a sandwich, literally. This is your bread. I have some cashmere bits and pieces to lay in. And then I'm going to put some of this nylon. Now if you choose to do a smaller sandwich, you don't have to do all this drafting first. For this demo, I really wanted to show you the layers in detail. And when you make things larger, details are easier to see. baby is a medium teeth range you will see that it will handle all of this textural goodness like a pro but it also like in the previous video I filmed handled that alpaca fleece like a pro so if you're only processing fine fleeces it's okay to go with a fine teeth per inch and if you're only doing art bats it's okay to do a super coarse teeth per inch but if you like to move between the two like I do especially for my teaching um, I choose a metal ground and it can handle both effectively. Okay, so like I said, I reserved these at the beginning and I am going to lay that down. Lay down a thin layer of roving. You can still see there's plenty of room left on the drum. Not all of the carding cloth is covered. It's just a fine layer to help provide a barrier when you're pulling off. Okay, so now our sandwich is a little wide. So how we're gonna fix that is we're gonna pull it in half. And we're gonna pull it in half this way. And then if you are a little concerned about the texture, you can draft it a little bit. But I want some awesome texture, so I'm not gonna really care about the drafting. So now we just feed it in there. Oh yeah, see all that? That is so yummy looking. that sandwich you can see there's still a bunch of room left on those teeth so I'm gonna build another sandwich and we will fill her up again how several of the teeth at the edge are pretty empty still but I'm having trouble hitting them without sending fiber off the edge so here at the top you know it's full There 
you go. That is a big, thick, honking bat. So we're going to roll this up. And then we're going to weigh it. If you're not comfortable building an art bat freestyle, the sandwich technique is going to take away all of that worry. You are guaranteed to get a good bat if you use the correct colors. And it's really hard to botch colors. <laughs> if you do production carding, this is an excellent tip to help speed up your art bat process. All right, so here's our bat. We're gonna turn on the scale. And it weighs 1.4 ounces. So that's pretty big, but also pretty manageable. The cool thing about the baby brother drum carter is you are carting smaller size bats and even though 1.4 ounces is pretty hefty bat it allows you to do all kinds of interesting things with your color rays so you can do texture gradients card one ultra ch chunky and the next one slightly less and so on and so forth until you have a super smooth bat and then you can spin them in you order. can do the same thing with color gradients um you could do several different bats in coordinating colorways. There are a lot of different ways that you can actually capitalize on the small size rather than thinking of it as a smaller size drum carter. So rather than thinking of the baby brother as a smaller size drum carter, I recommend you think about it as a specialized tool for certain types of bats. Oh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got to know the baby brother drum carter a little bit better and learn something about creating art bats. If you would like to see more from Brother Drum Carter, check out the other videos on this channel. We have the standard Brother Drum Carter and the Little Brother Motorized Drum Carter featured. And check out below where there are links to how you can obtain one of these. Bye!